hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to see how we can create a quick feature of converting text into speech but without using any azure cognitive service of text to speech conversion so this specific solution is for those people who are not having any azure subscription and probably their subscriptions are being maintained by a different team in their organization and for this specific application they just want to explore some alternate so that they can quickly build out the same feature of text to speech conversion but without actually doing any subscription of azure pay to go license so that's we are going to see so i have created one simple couple of controls i have tagged into and with these controls i have created one small feature of converting text into speech if i run this app and i'll just say hello Christian, and i'll wait for this text to be converted into speech hello Krishan. so this same feature we can build out with azure text to speech conversion cognitive libraries but as i said like many of the team many of the organizations have different teams for application development and other for uh, giving or assigning license so probably like you may be a part of application team where you may want to try some alternates rather than like going for the azure subscription of this service so there like we can actually like pitch in to have this uh, different solution so this different solution which i am going to work with is play ht so i'll just open the quick introduction to play ht so it's nothing but a api set which is which comes with a free subscription as well as the paid one and this free one you can try by yourself like uh, for the use for for trying this tool like how this tool is uh, coming together for your application so you can decide and later, later on you can buy this uh, subscription version so for this one like what i have done is like i've created a free account for myself and i have with a normal http calls we are going to just pass on our text to this APIs and in return we are going to expect the content type as mp3 so that can be embedded into power apps to return or to work as a text-to-speech conversion so I'll just show you what we have done into this power app so this power app is having just one text control so on selection of this speech button we are calling our text-to-speech which is a power automate and that power automate takes this text as an input and call the play HD API and pass in like uh, the authentication headers and then in turn getting the content which is nothing but the audio content mp3 file and that file we are going to bind into our this audio control and this audio control will set the property as auto start so we are going to just create one more app from scratch so that we can learn this so i'll just go back and then we'll just create one simple app so we are going to start with the page design and we'll just pick blank and I'll just drag one text input control which can act as a text input provider for us and we'll just click make it center and set this property as multi-line text instead of single line and we'll just drag one button and on that button selection we are going to call our power automate which is going to do this uh, lifting work of converting our text to speech audio file and we are going to add one quick flow and that power automate we are going to receive the input from power apps and then call our play ht api so we are going to take an input as text and i'll just say that as input only and in later step we are going to take help of our http action and this action will call the endpoint for our play ht so i'll just show the what the endpoints look like if you go to your this subscription or this free subscription if you want to try and once you go to this text to speech api helping file you would be able to see that we have this payload in the request sample which is making a post call to this endpoint except as audio mpeg and content type is application application json authorization we are going to pass this authorization and user id and post that we will be passing the body which is nothing but the text and as well as which voice settings we want to pass so this is a json file which will be defined as like whether we want a female voice or we want to have a male voice 
other than other attributes. So it's nothing of much importance, but it's fine. So this thing we are going to just leverage into our HTTP connector, HTTP action. I'll go back to Power App and we are going to just use the method as post and the URI. So I'll just copy it from my existing notepad, which will be a URI for my this stream. And in the headers, we are going to pass this content type as application JSON and accept as tag. Just quickly copying these header parts. And in authorization header, we are going to pass this bearer token and the user and the secret key, which is generated once you register for PlayHQ. And the user ID, the user ID which you get on your registration. And once you are done with your header, then you will be passing this as in body. In body, you can see I have this as text, format MP3, and the voice config setting. So we can directly pass this as is. And in this hello text, we want to read it from our input of Power App. So I'm just going to click it and replace it. So once it's done. We'll be getting on the run we'll be getting the body output of as an audio file so that we are going to respond back into our power apps so i'm just going to use this our power app respond to a power app or a flow and we are going to pass this as a text because we are going to extract only the base 64 content so i can just say that as speech content and into this we are going to leverage or like extract that from our previous actions body so that is if i just click on this see more i would get body and this body will just make a copy so that we can write the expression into this expression one i'll remove this at the rate sign and we'll just extract the content out of our previous output so content would be base 64 audio content and then we are going to convert that into our media or the audio control so i'm just clicking on ok and as an output we are going to get this into this variable so i'll just save that to as let's say text to speech api converter and we are going to save it and now i'm going to drop my this audio control and this audio control i'll set up the media as the media which the returned b64 from our power automate so i'll just first of all on this selection i am going to call our power automate so that we can get the response back so i'll just say text text to speech converter dot run and we are going to pass this input text input as input to our flow and in return we are going to just set that into variable of let's say where speech and we are just closing it so we have this return output into where speech and we are going to extract the where speech data or the audio out of our returned base 64 and convert that into base 64 so we'll just say where speech dot speech content so this gives us a b64 but to play it we have to convert that into audio file so for that we are just going to append or concatenate this data audio dot speech content so data audio will convert our returned base 64 into our mp3 so that it can be run so i can just run it right now with the test data so i'll just say hello and i'll click on this power automate button clicking on button to run the flow so it's calling the power automate and it called and it binded that to our audio control so you can see one second if i run it hello we get the speech from the text and now we are just going to set this as auto start whenever we get the response back from our power domain then we should just call it so i'll just say auto start to our media control hello 
and I'll just again run it and this time we are going to pass some bigger content get started with text to speech so I'll just copy this this entire big content and we'll just paste that into one and again we are going to call our, our automate learn how to create an app that converts text to speech and explore supported audio formats and custom configuration options so that's how we can convert the text to speech and as in for the use case you can enhance this using some other ai prompts other ai models for example you want to just extract the description out of your images then you can upload image into your power app then using generate image description ai model you can just extract the information out of that image and that can be converted into text or text to speech so you can find out multiple use cases of this text to speech and can try to i mean explore at your end the only advantage it does has like it does uh, you would not be dependent on having azure subscription created for you you can try by yourself if you're just single if you are just a single application developer then probably like you may not want to have azure subscription but want to integrate with some third party text to speech conversion so that is it for today's video if you have any questions please do drop your comments i'll try to answer thank you